Francis Maxwell here on Full Time Devils again from TYT Sports to discuss this weekend's action. Tough task traveling to the Hawthorns to play against West Bromwich Albion. Let's talk some tactics. So there is some speculation of the lineup, and I post a question on Full Time Devils Twitter. So thanks everyone for responding. A lot of you said that Deli Blind should be rested. I do agree. He looked a little bit rusty against uh, Watford, and I would like to see Chris Smalling come back if he is fit. So I've put it in there as a question. If Smalling's fit, I'd like to see him uh, go in there with uh, Folsom Mensa at the back. Uh, this is how I imagine we'll line up. They have Varela Mensa, either Blind or Smalling, Rojo. In the middle of the park, Carrick has been said that he may be fit. Also, I don't think you want to change this. I like the dynamic of Schneiderlin and Herrera in there with Mata being, having the freedom to go forward a little bit. Um, I, I like that triangular formation they have in there when they're defending as well at times. So I would like to keep that as is. Martial, uh, Memphis and Rashford up top. I was contemplating thinking about Martial going back or up top and maybe... Um, thinking Rashford needs to, to come on off the bench, but I think we've got to stick with what's working at the moment, and I want to discuss why I like Martial out wide, cutting into a central role specifically against West Brom. So, so the one thing that West Brom have been doing, and they did so well against Crystal Palace, and they got two out of their three goals in the first half from doing this, is it's simple uh, strikers movement, working cohesively with each other. Rondon, who's in form at the moment, drops deep, and what he wants is he wants to drag a centre-back with him and allow for Berahino to take up that space. It happened for their third goal. Worked very well. Manchester United need to be a little bit smarter than that. So um, what is often, I would say, misportrayed when it comes to centre-back defending is, oh, if your man goes, you have to go with him. That's not always the case because if he drops into such deep territory that all these gaps start to form at the back, you're leaving yourself susceptible for those runs coming through the middle. So what I will see happen for West Brom and what we can see is what's going to happen is Rondon's going to trek into this area and try to take the ball swift into feet. And in doing so, even if he doesn't get the ball, you're going to see Berahino make this run. And it happened against Crystal Palace or he's going to make this run in behind here and try and cut in behind the centre-back. And what will happen is if Manchester United allow for that, that, that defender to, to be dragged into this area, these gaps will naturally form unless they form... This, this idea that if someone steps into the mid, into that midfield territory, you either need to drop back a holder midfielder to kind of take up that central defence role, or you just form a flat back three. Chelsea used to do this so well last season when they were working well. What you want to see is if someone like Chris Smalling follows Rondon in there, you want to see Rojo tuck in, you want to see Varela tuck in and form this kind of this bank of three and it allows for Schneiderlin to come back and protect. Therefore, you're not allowing these gaps to form and West Brom can't just find an easy run through. It's going to be a physical game. So Rondon's going to want to pull Chris Small with him. Come with me, mate. You can come out of position. You don't always have to do that. I'm fine when I used to play football of passing on a, a very deep running striker into my holding midfielders. If it's Schneiderlin, he's comfortable at doing that. I've watched him do it on several occasions, marking the man in a deeper area, kind of uh, nullifying the space so that you're not creating those big gaps at the back. So Manchester United need to be wary of this. That's how West Brom are going to try and drag the defenders all over the place. Going forward is a different thing. Let's talk about that. So the main thing I'm going to talk about with West Brom is uh, Johnny Evans is not... Uh, he said he might not be fit for West Brom. Huge plus. Even if he is in there, still a plus because West Brom's backline are slow. Simple as, yes, they're a difficult team to break down, but when you allow West Brom to get men behind the ball, it becomes tough. That's what Leicester faced. That's why their goals came from outside the box, specifically when you look at Drinkwater's strike. But when you try to get in behind their defence quickly... That's where the success is going to come because they're not quick enough. You see Leicester, uh, specifically when they, they went for a difference of attack, rather than doing that counter-attack in football, West Brom do dropped deep and it became a very clustered game in, in, inside West Brom's half, is you sometimes need to go for that direct pass, that ball swiftly in behind and push them onto their back foot. Jamie Vardy, I think, had a race against Olsen. I think he had 20 yards back from Olsen. They still managed to beat him there to the ball. And Olsen's a bomb scare when he's running back the way. If you get him on his, in the edge of his own D facing the game, he's competent enough. But if you get him chasing back because he's, he's playing too higher up or he's not got enough time to get back in behind, it's going to be a problem for West Brom. So what I want to see specifically from Martial is he's such a central-minded player that when you push him out wide right, he's not comfortable taking the ball in this area. He's not comfortable getting it into feet as well he, as he is when he plays up top. So as soon as the ball breaks up and Manchester United press high, which I think they should do, is if you find West Brom, at least with this gap in here, that's enough to try and find your way in behind. I want to see this run from Martial because Mata and Herrera have got the ability to put the ball in behind very swiftly rather than waiting, knocking it side to side. If you want to get the ball wide, then get it wide to, to Memphis Depay. That's who you want to get the ball to. Memphis Depay is good at picking the ball up in a wide area. 
But in doing so, I want him to play as wide as possible. I want Rashford to kind of take up that role. So for instance, if Manchester United want to play wide, I'd like to see Rashford take, the, take up this role of making this run through the middle and drag these centre-backs a little bit over towards Memphis' side and allow for this gap for Martial to make this run in forward so that he plays almost like a second striker. Because when Martial comes a little wider, I don't think he's as useful. We've seen him playing a lot better uh, when he started to move into that central position. So in doing so, if the ball must go wide, I'd get it on Memphis' side. Focus on that side and allow for Martial to make those dynamic runs through the middle. Rashford's job in this game is going to be to try and drag those defenders out, be a decoy. Either come to, check to the ball and allow for Martial to make that run in behind or take them wide, take them over to Memphis's side and allow for that space in behind for the very fast Martial to try and cling on to a pass in behind. So I think that the key focus is here to break it down finally to one main point is don't allow West Brand to get behind the ball. Don't allow them to drop into their own box because they're comfortable in there. They're okay with packing eight guys on the edge of their box and limiting you to shots from the edge of the box because that's where they, they, they're comfortable in. They'll, they'll allow a couple of shots from the edge of the box. If one goes in, so what? They're not getting beaten in behind. You're not penetrating their back line. United need to do this. It's do or die now. Each game counts. Let me know what you guys think on Twitter. I'll be live tweeting the game at Francis underscore Maxo over here at TYT Sports. And as always, guys, thanks for having me on. Hi, guys. Welcome to Full Time Devils. I'm Adam McCola. We're outside Old Trafford. It's the preview for Manchester United's away trip to West Brom. It's this Sunday in the Premier League and things have just got interesting in the top four race. Abdullah, I'm going to come to you first. That victory against Watford, how important was that? And how does that leave us standing with 10 games remaining in the league? 